Welcome to my board game quick start guide for Seasons. This is the introduction and setup video. Seasons is a competitive game about wizards taking part in a three year magic tournament. Here are the important components the crystal track, the season wheel, black season and year cubes, four sets of season dice, energy tokens representing the four classical elements of earth, air, water, and fire player boards with corresponding colored sorcerer cubes, library tokens, and power cards. Each player should be given a player board with their corresponding sorcerer cubes and library tokens. One of these sorcerer cubes goes on the zero of the summoning gauge track on their player board, and one will go on the zero space of the bonus track on their player board. One cube for each player will go on the zero of the crystal track, and the last one will go on the zero at the top of the crystal track board. Place one of the black cubes on month one on the outside of the wheel, and the other black cube on the year one mark in the center of the wheel. The number of dice in the game is determined by the number of players in the game. There should be one more die per color than there are players in the game. For example, if you've got four players, you'll play with all five dice of each color. But if you've only got three players, you'll randomly remove one die of each color from the game so that there are only four of each color. Finally, distribute the power cards. If this is your first game, you can find recommended starter cards for each player in the manual. You should locate these cards and give one set to each player. Remove all of the cards numbered 31 through 50 from the game and place the remaining cards in a draw pile on the table. You are now ready to begin. If you wish to play at the intermediate difficulty, remove cards 31 through 50 from the game, shuffle the remaining cards, and deal 9 cards to each player. Place the remaining cards in a draw pile on the table. Each player will then look at those 9 cards and select one to keep, placing it face down in front of them before passing the remaining 8 cards to the player on their left. You'll continue drafting cards like this until each player has selected 9 cards to keep. If you wish to play at the advanced difficulty level, shuffle together all of the cards, including cards 31 through 50, before dealing out 9 to each player and drafting. I'll explain the game's rules in the next video.